Have you asked yourself recently, how should I as a Christian respond to all the racial tension that's going on in the United States right now? Hey everyone, this is Chad Blackman. If you've been watching the news or paying attention to social media in any way, shape, or form, you've probably seen headlines and you've probably seen stories about racial tension, racial violence, escalating more and more and more in the United States. And I want to ask the question today, how do we as Christians handle this? How are we to navigate our way through the, the racial tense climate that we find ourselves in today? I want to talk to you on both a practical level and then also a theological level. On the practical level, we would do very well to listen to the words of James, the half-brother of Jesus. James tells us that as Christians, we should be very quick to listen and then slow to speak. This means as Christians, we're not just waiting for our turn to talk. We're not just waiting to jump in, but we're genuinely seeking to understand what somebody is saying to us. If there's somebody from a different background, different ethnicity, as Christians, we need to do well to listen to them and really try to seek to understand where they're coming from. Because listening is what communicates love. In a world where everybody's trying to talk and everybody's trying to be heard, we can stand out by being a people that listen and listen well. On a theological level, what I want to show you is what the Bible has to say in regards to the different races, to the different ethnicities. Jesus in Matthew 28 verse 19 says, I want you to go out into all nations. The Greek says pantata ethne, go out into all the ethnicities and teach them the things that I've taught you. Disciple them, baptize them. This means God's plan of redemption isn't just for one people group. It is for all the nations. That Jesus' grace and his redemption extends to all skin colors, all languages, all different groups of people. The wonderful hope of Jesus is that he can break down the walls of hostility between people groups. Because when we come to know Jesus, it's no longer identifying with our skin color, identifying with our backgrounds, our, our, the country of origin, whatever that might be. We now identify as Christian. We now identify as being a follower of Jesus. And this can unify people and bring people together like nothing else. So I hope this helps you today on the practical level for us to just listen and listen well. And then on the theological level to understand that Jesus has come to give redemption to anyone and everyone that would take of it, regardless of their skin color or ethnicity. God bless you all. Can't wait to see you next time. Have a great day.